Alright, so uh, I'm really excited all my packages came in. Though I did just make a salad, um, well, priorities, right? Of course I'm gonna open the boxes first. These are the upgrades that I have decided to do for my camera, and also really a replacement because I broke my tripod. Um, to improve my sound, I got this and an adapter, just micro USB to a headphone jack, so I can use it with my my model DSLR camera. For some reason, it doesn't have an output for for an audio mic. So anyway, um, I'm gonna get to unboxing these and kind of show you later. All right, and this is the tripod. Nice little case, and the tripod itself. It's actually pretty compact. It's a little bit heavy, but not too bad. I wanted something that was small enough that I could carry around if I need to, if I'm doing anything kind of different. Um, but mostly I'm going to be using this just for when I'm filming in, at home um, for YouTube and such. Um, so I wanted to get upgrade to something a little bit more hefty. Um, and as you can see, it's pretty compact. Um, and so right now I'm kind of just hand holding my camera because my other tripods are broken. Um, so I'm going to switch to this so that way you guys can see the rest of the unboxing. All right, so I got it set up on the tripod now. By the way, the tripod's super nice. Um, it's got a ball head on it, which just means you can rotate in any direction. So it's super nice, super sturdy. I love it. I'm gonna leave all the links in the description for the things that I got, um, in case you guys are interested in looking at it. In total, um, with the microphone, the adapter, and as long as you don't have to worry about the adapter because you might not have the same camera that I do. So for the tripod, the microphone, and I'm also going to be getting a little phone adapter thing for taking time lapses with my phone that will clip onto my tripod. Um, all in all it's about like a hundred bucks so for me it wasn't too bad of an investment especially since I wanted to upgrade a few things for my videos. Alright, open. Okay, so this I researched quite a bit. Uh, it's called the Movo um, microphone. I'm just gonna title it that. Um, instructions. Um, what I really liked about this microphone um, was that it was pretty cheap. It was only about 40 bucks. This little wind casing. Let me take that off. It's kind of interesting. It's got uh, like a foam ball covered in fur. Um, so this, this seems a lot nicer than what I thought it was going to be. Cool. So this is the microphone itself and it just sits in this little thing I'm sure. But this will go on top of my DSLR camera. It is a uh, cardioid microphone, um, which I think basically it's just kind of a directional, it's just a shotgun mic is what they call it, where it just takes the sound from the front, which is perfect for YouTube or other things. And the nice part about this is it also connects to my phone as well. So um, I've been really, really, really wanting to upgrade my sound, so I'm really excited about this. Um, so it comes with some cords um, to attach, obviously. Um, I believe this is for your phone. And then this is for your camera. So it's pretty nice to get both of those. Comes with a nice little carrying bag. Um, so I'm super excited about this. Um, so I'm going to try to switch this over um, to this microphone. And so you'll be able to hear uh, hopefully a better sound. I'm not really going to do anything um, in post to edit it or anything to make it sound better or louder or anything. I'm just going to leave it raw. This is what it sounds like just with my camera normally, uh, with its microphone, it's not the best. Um, but now I'm gonna change it. And now this is what it sounds like with the new microphone. Uh, so definitely worth the investment and it really helps out the video a whole lot. So it's goodbye. All right, so I said a lot. What happened is I tried to attach the adapter to my camera in order to use the microphone so I could just have it up top connected to my camera but it didn't work. For some reason, my model, the Nikon D3100, just is not designed for it, and I have no idea why. So what I'm doing right now is I have this microphone balanced on the broken tripod, um, but what's nice about it is it also has like a little tip that screws in. Um, so I have it set up on this tripod with my phone, and it's recording audio, which I then send to an online drive, and then I later download it and synchronize it to my videos. So, needless to say, it's gotten a little complicated, but it works, it's fine. Um, I'm very happy with um, what I was able to get. 
and I definitely recommend these things if you guys are looking to get budget accessories for your camera um, to film or maybe photography. So I also failed to mention my computer that I'm using. I use Adobe Premiere right now uh, to edit my videos. It's a very great program and I love the hotkeys. It's just great. Um, so what I'm using is a HP Omen. And the design is super nice. I had quite the ordeal trying to get the right laptop. I went through about two or three of them. This is the third one. The first one I got was fine. It was an Acer, but then the battery wouldn't hold a charge, so I had to return it. And then I got another one, which was an HP, but um, wasn't as great. Um, I definitely like the gaming laptops. They seem to be able to handle a lot. So this definitely is a great laptop for my needs. So just an info for anyone who's curious about what kind of laptop or setup that I use. So basically I've told you everything that I use for these videos. Anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I know this wasn't much of like an art video, um, but if you consider the cinematic part of, of how I film everything to be art, which it is, then I have succeeded. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.